Years before the germ theory of disease was developed, the Viennese physician Ignaz Semmelweis came to the startling discovery that doctors could save the lives of patients simply by washing their hands. Although he couldn't explain why hand disinfection was so effective, his research in 1847 would go on to transform the way surgery is carried out and infectious diseases are controlled today. Known locally as the savior of women, Semmelweis initiated hand-washing policies which helped drastically reduce the mortality rate from childbed fever in the Viennese obstetrics clinics where he worked. Childbed fever, or purpural fever, is the infection of the female reproductive organs following childbirth and was a common cause of death at the time. Semmelweis's attention was first drawn to the mortality rate of the clinics he worked at because women would beg to be admitted to the clinics run by midwives rather than those staffed by students. The women were so desperate to avoid the student clinics that they would rather give birth in the street. After looking into the mortality rate of the two clinics, he found that the student-run clinic did indeed have a much higher mortality rate from pure pearl fever, sometimes three times higher. After eliminating various factors, Semmelweis came to the conclusion that the students carried something from the dissection rooms where they performed autopsies to the patients they examined during labor. He ordered the students to wash their hands in a solution of chlorinated lime before each examination. The mortality rate fell from 18% to 1%. Despite the success of his policy, Semmelweis faced the wrath of the medical community. He could offer no acceptable explanation for his findings as the notion that there were germs causing disease was unaccepted and various doctors were offended by the insinuation that their hands were dirty. He was ostracized and ridiculed by the leading medical figures of his time and eventually driven out of Vienna. After struggling for years to promote his hand disinfection policies, Semmelweis was admitted to an insane asylum at the age of 47. He died 14 days later.